Hello students, welcome to your science class and in today's science class we will be knowing more about magnetic materials. You have seen various such colorful objects on your fridge. These are stuck to your fridge. Do you know how? Yes, these are stuck to your fridge by the magnets. What are these magnets? How are they made? Where are they found? Let us know more about it. Magnets come in various shapes and sizes like the U-shaped magnet, the circular magnet, the bar magnet, ring magnet, horseshoe magnet and cylindrical magnet. In olden days, a metal plate used to be stuck to the feet of the horse. It used to be in this shape. Hence, this magnet is named as a horseshoe magnet. Magnets can be found naturally and they are man-made also. Naturally, magnets can be found buried under the deep layer of the earth. It is found in the form of ore or rocks also called as lodestone or magnetite. These are dug out from the earth and used as magnets. Artificially, these magnets are made by a combination of metals and then an electric current is passed through the metal to give it a magnetic effect. Let us now look at a video on how magnets are made in factories. Enough and the electric current is high enough, then the piece of metal will stay permanently magnetized. Take a look at this. There you have it. This factory uses electricity to make hundreds of permanent magnets every day. But what are they made from? Iron isn't good enough on its own, so they mix it with other metals, including nickel and cobalt. Any mixture of metals is known as an alloy. In the foundry, this alloy is heated up to 1600 degrees Celsius before being poured into a mould. One mould makes about 20 horseshoe magnets. The first stage of magnetisation involves heating up the metal shapes again. Then cooling them down in a strong magnetic field produced by the massive coils of wire that make up this platform. The electric field has a magnetising effect. Once they're painted, they're packaged up. The permanent magnets they make here go all over the world and end up in all sorts of places. Hope you understood how magnets are made. These magnets are used in variety of toys, like any toy that makes a sound. What are the properties of magnets? Magnets have a very unique property of attracting themselves towards iron. Hence, magnets are used in recycling factories where magnets can be used to separate magnetic and non-magnetic materials. These are also used in things that make sounds like your toys and in microphones, in TV sets, etc. Magnets have a special property of magnifying sound. Hence, they are used in speakers to magnify the volume of sound. Metals that get attracted towards magnets are called as magnetic. Whereas, metals that do not get attracted towards metal are called as non-magnetic metals. Metals like iron and copper are attracted towards magnet. Hence, these are said to be magnetic metals. I have a small task for you. If you have a magnet at home, try and search for metals which are magnetic and make a list of it. Thank you. This was all about magnets. 
let me explain more about it in my next class.